More than 2,500 people took part in the Greater New York City Race for the Cure in Central Park Sunday. Elena Millerman was one of them. She was diagnosed last October with metastatic breast cancer. Her loved ones and colleagues joined her for the race. When I was diagnosed, I have to say that the thing that got me through it was my family and my colleagues, and having them be supportive of me during the journey was everything. So I'm glad they're here with me today. Suzanne Campbell was also there. She's a 12-year survivor of breast cancer from Mississippi and came to New York with her family for the event. The race also coincided with her 70th birthday celebrations. As a survivor, I feel strongly that we stand on the shoulders of those who, who were diagnosed before us. There's just nothing better than being here amongst everyone and feeling so loved. It's just a feeling of love and gratitude. The event was hosted by breast cancer organization Susan G. Coleman. The race, in its 33rd year, raises money for breast cancer patients and breast cancer research, as well as for services and resources that help patients better navigate the system. We're here today to support our survivors, those living with metastatic breast cancer, and to honor those that we've lost. Such an important cause. We haven't been live since pre-pandemic, and we're so excited to have the opportunity to bring our one community together. One person, one team, one dollar makes a huge difference. Ashley Ballard ran for her grandmother. She is my biggest support. And I don't know what I would do if she wasn't here today. And this is a very important event because a lot of people lost their loved ones to breast cancer. Elena Millerman agrees. She says the goal is to let all those who face breast cancer and their families know they are not alone. Super emotional to see everyone out and see everybody looking for a cure because I do think we have to find a cure for everyone. These racers add they will not stop fighting until there is a cure.